You have no right to control me. To preface, I haven't had a nightmare in a very, very long time. I don't know what made me have this one and I don't know what it means, I just know it woke me up early. And I'll do my best to recount it here, though I'm not good at writing like this. The nightmare felt like a first-person video game, reminiscent of the Source engine used in games like Half-Life and Ares Mod. The objective of each level was to navigate long, narrow hallways that branched into intricate pathways, eventually leading to moderately sized rooms. These hallways were peculiar, filled with strange props that cluttered the space. The layout was surreal, with jagged curves and rough edges, like if there was a top view map it would be an absolute mess. The ultimate goal was a dead-end black wall that acted as a portal, instantly transporting me to the next level. Each subsequent level was a repetition of this setup with slight variations in layout and props. I could sprint for brief periods, and there were power-ups in some of the side pathways, offering momentary speed boosts or extended sprint time. The sounds I heard were horrid, my footsteps sounding heavy and metallic, and since I was running fast it was almost deafening. In the background, a voice uttered gibberish in agonizingly slow motion, making me feel as if I were being pursued. The props in the dream were bizarre, seemingly plucked from the far corners of my memories. There were waist-high cubes with crudely drawn body parts on all sides such as the legs or a torso, like educational tools for helping children remember body part names. Additionally, there were civilians from the Half-Life series, stuck in a perpetual loop of walking in place and nervously surveying their surroundings. After completing several levels, a figure briefly flashed before me. It wore the same clothes as the civilians but had a large, burnt head with protruding eyeballs that stared directly at me. It continued, with a cycle of levels repeating. Eventually, I found myself in a rectangular room filled with various props. The burnt figure and I stood at one end, just staring. When I moved to the opposite side of the room, the figure gazed at me and uttered in the same horrid slow voice, You have no right to control me. Then, what woke me up, its body transformed into two of those cubes I mentioned earlier, one with a pair of legs drawn on it and the other with a torso. The figure's head stacked on top. The drawn legs on the lower cube began to move as it came closer towards me, 